going to talk like this until I get you to study what Farad Muhammad revealed to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, then you go take it to your scholars and see if they can defeat what he revealed to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He stood and he measured the earth. 71 years ago when he came, he taught us that the total area of the land and water of the planet Earth is 196,940,000 square miles. He said the circumference of the planet Earth is 24,896 miles, and all of us had to memorize this. The diameter of the Earth is 7,926 miles. The area of land is 57,255,000 square miles. And the area of water is 106, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 139,685,000 square miles. He said the Pacific Ocean covers 68,634,000 square miles. And the Atlantic Ocean covers 41,321,000 square miles. The Indian Ocean covers 29,430,000 square miles. And the lakes and rivers cover 1 million square miles. And the hills and the mountains cover 14 million square miles. And the islands are 1,910,000 square miles. And the deserts are 4,861,000 square miles. And Mount Everest is 29,141 feet high. And the producing land is 29 million square miles. And the earth weighs six sextillion tons. A six followed by 21 zeros. The earth is 93 million miles from the sun. And the earth travels at the rate of 1,037 and one third miles per hour and light travels at the rate of 186,000 miles per hour, and sound travels at the rate of 1,120 feet per second, and the diameter of the sun is 853,000 miles, the diameter. Now, we're just students now under a master teacher and he asked us to study then he began to tell us about the distances of the planets and the life that is on the planets Farad Muhammad talking see I never met him he taught Elijah from the cotton fields of Georgia who only went to the fourth grade of school. Now you tell me, what kind of teacher is it? Now I want you to listen, damn it. You do too much naysaying, but I want you to hear today. You argue too damn much over what you have no knowledge of at all. It's time for you to sit down, shut up, and listen to what God has revealed. If you check what Master Farad Muhammad said, 71 years ago and the dimensions that the scholars give theirs differed from Farad Muhammad's but every year 
They have gotten closer and closer and closer, and now their computation is similar to that of Farad Muhammad, Master Farad Muhammad, the man who taught the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and came to raise us up from a dead level and make us rulers over those who once ruled us, not by guns and sticks, but by giving us a superior knowledge. Look at this. He says, Mars, the inhabited planet. Now, you didn't hear me. I'm going to say it again. See, he said this 71 years ago before you knew anything about Mars. He called Mars an inhabited planet. 141 million 500,000 miles from the sun. And she travels 1,037 and a third miles per hour, and her, her diameter is 4,200 miles. Listen, he said Mercury is also an inhabited planet and it's 36 million miles from the sun. Her diameter is 3,000 miles and she travels at the same rate of speed, 1,037 and a third miles per hour. He said Venus is 67 million 200,000 miles from the sun. All the planets travel at the same rate of speed. Now you think about that. No matter how close they are to the sun or how far they are from the sun, all of them travel at the same rate of speed. Now check this. He said Jupiter is 483 million miles from the sun. She takes 11 years and nine months to make one complete circle around the sun and her diameter is 88,700 miles. Here the diameter of the Earth is 7,926 miles. Here's Jupiter, 88,000. Saturn, 886 million miles from the sun. Uranus, 1,782,000,000 miles from the sun. Neptune, 2,793,000,000 miles from the sun. And the far planet Platoon, or Pluto, 4,600,000,000 miles from the sun. Let me get to the board a minute. The planet, whoa, the planet Pluto was first seen what year? Pluto was first discovered in the year 19... 30, the same year that Master Farad Muhammad found you and me. How far is Pluto from the sun? 4,600,000,000 miles. 
You got the four and you got the six. Malachi, meaning my messenger. The last book of your Bible telling you who you should be looking for. Behold, I send my messenger from before my face. Behold, before the great and the dreadful day of the Lord, judgment, I will send you who? Elijah. Elijah. What chapter does his name appear in? The fourth chapter from the fourth to the sixth verse. Now here's the meaning. The first four, 4,000 years from Moses. Why Moses? Because both Bible and Holy Quran teach you that the man that God would send in the last days would be a man like unto Moses. How could you have a man like Moses unless you have a people like the children of Israel? and a wicked ruler like Pharaoh and a bunch of crazy magicians. Excuse me, y'all, I, I can't help myself. I'm fired up. <laughs> At this. So the first four represents 4,000 years from Moses. The second four represents after 400 years of bondage. And the six represents at the end of the 6,000 year rule of the white man. The fire planet Platoon, Pluto, 4 billion, 600 million miles away, yet as far away as she is, the light of the sun reaches her and got her spinning at the same speed of all the other planets, 1,037 and a third miles per hour. What does it mean? that when the light of God touches you, you will start turning and you'll be going at the same speed of all the people of wisdom on the planet as long as you stay in the light, acknowledge the light, submit to the light, bow down to the light and the God who raised you and brought you the light. Now, okay, all right, Mr. Farad Muhammad King. They arrested him in Detroit for teaching us the knowledge of ourselves. He submitted. They took him to jail. He didn't have to go to jail. That's why Habakkuk said he had horns coming out of his hand, but there was the hiding of his power. He became obedient even unto death. Death means the white man. He represents death. And we live in the very shadow of death under the white man's rule. Talk back to me.